there guys, this is me Malorian, and now we're on to game two of the Calgary AWI Steamroller I went to on the weekend. I am currently 1-0, so that is awesome, but now I actually got paired up against club mate Sean, and uh, this should be pretty dang scary. Now what was really happening here is that when I looked at what the matchup was, I have my Thexus and my Osram, and then he also has this Nemo 3 build, and then also the Striker 3 build that had a cloud wall in it. Now, I know, I could feel down in my, my heart of hearts that he wanted to drop his Nemo 3 against my Thexus and zap me all off, but I couldn't drop the Ostrom one because if he dropped that cloud wall, I am toast. I am destroyed. So I thought about trying to like bluff him out, but I thought, you know what? I've done this before. I've, I've done the Texas into Nemo 3 before and won, but man, is it a bloody battle. And that was back before like Storm Lances were super crazy. So uh, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. So this is the matchup. I honestly can say right now that I believe that it's going to be in his favor, but I'm just going to do my best. You know, maybe if I distract him enough with him killing my own guys, I can kind of like get a scenario win. Uh, I do have one unit that is ambushing, which is perfect for this scenario, so that if he wants to go to his flag, I got a perfect unit to charge in and punish him for it, but uh, yeah, it's going to be more so him punishing me. Now, I had a choice of going first or second, and I decided to go first because I need to get those ambushers on there as soon as possible, and I really just push up like this so that I'm more than 16 inches away. Now, 16 inches is important because that's where he can run up with a firefly or a little storm collar and then shoot him to electro leap into me. He does have the possibility where he could run one of his storm lances up to me, but that could be a little bit of a throwaway, so I'm willing to take that risk. Otherwise, I'm doing the celebration just out of habit. Uh, probably should have just gotten the extra one out on the wrecker. But yeah, I'm really just kind of waiting for him to kind of see what he does. And then I'm going to need to try and probably start this scoring as soon as possible. So on his turn, he gets a little bit aggressive, but he's also very careful. I was really kind of hoping he'd forget about my ambushers and just be like, oh, let's just go up in a straight line and then I can kind of like attack one side. But he did not do that. Now... Despite the fact that he guarded himself against ambushers, I can still get him because my ambushers can come in from the right, then my benders that I had there will go up and adrenal flood them, giving the extra four inches, and so that way I'll be able to get into him. So what I'm hoping to do on this turn is I think I'm going to stay back and make it a little bit more safe for me, but in the meantime, I want to kill off two storm lances from each unit. Uh, from the adrenal flooded ambushers from the right, I should be able to kill off two from there. From the left, I'm actually going to arc in two hex blasts into him to peel away the arcane shield he put on that unit. Uh, the right unit has electrify. Oh, 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 man, I forgot to say another key piece that he does here. He also casts the one spell that I can't remember what it's called, but basically I can't, his whole battle group can't be pushed or are placed. And so that means that all my TK and my feet and stuff is completely useless on his battle group. Which really, uh, it, it kind of sucks. But otherwise, you know, all, that's all I can do. If I can do that and take four Storm Lances off the table, this will really help me. So my ambushers come over here, well practiced and placed and measured out so that two of them can get through the front two Storm Lances. And after everything, it looks like this. So I was able to kill off the two Storm Lances from the right and the one little Storm Collar that was trying to be in my way. Uh, that lets me build a couple of new guys. On the left side there, I was able to go up and Hex Blast into two of them. Uh, one of them I killed and stripped off Arcane Shield, of course. But the last one, I just could not roll high enough and uh, left it on one box. So did leave him with one more than I thought, but otherwise... Things are running into him. I really expect the lances on the left with Lattimore to be charging in. Then I'm going to be countering and hopefully wiping them out. And at that point, being safe on my flag. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fully expecting this next turn to hurt a lot. And it does. Uh, this is his feet turn. And you can see here that he crushes me and also stays back. Now, my ambushers are pretty much all dead, 
But hey, the order of activations he was forced to do meant that he couldn't score the first point, which could be critical in this matchup, right? Whoever scores first could actually be the deciding factor. Now, unfortunately, he's killing stuff so fast that he's almost scoring on the zone, which is really, really bad. Plus, he also killed off one of my, my wreckers with, I mean, like Dynamo under feet. He just says, get out of here and shoots you down. So I have lost a lot of stuff, but I should be in a spot now where I can get a few more things in there, kill off a couple more pieces, get on the flag, and then it's just really a matter of timing about whether I can hold them off long enough. So that's what I'm able to do. I was hoping to unhorse ladder more, but unfortunately just wasn't able to really get it done. Uh, I was able to kill off the rest of the storm lances on the left. Uh, two of them being killed by hex blast, two of them being killed by adrenal flood guys. So that's great. On the left side, he's really hurting. Uh, Thexus is up there on the flag. You know, he had feeded to move things into range. Otherwise, on the middle, I guess I'll call it, I'm really just trying to hold the zone with what I can there. Uh, otherwise, something ran up there just to kind of get in his face. Uh, really, my adrenal flooding to try and hurt him and stuff really didn't do anything. I'm not able to kill off any more of the lances on the right, but I get one control point. So at this point, I got one, but it certainly feels like it's not going to be enough. Now, on his turn, this was a real key thing of this entire game. Uh, basically, he's like, all right, let's do this. I'm going to kill these things and I'm going to start turning it around. Uh, but unfortunately, the biggest mistake here is that he didn't allocate focus. Now, this is always a very tough one, especially when it's like, you know, the beginning of a tournament and it's a club mate and stuff like this. And I just said, Sean, it is completely up to you. I think that in a tournament, you know, this is one of those times where I shouldn't allow it to you. But hey, I know this is a game where you should be beating me. So, I mean, I don't want you to lose because of this. I, I just want to be up to you. You make the choice. And he decided to take the honorable way and say, you know what? I forgot. Let's just live with it. So the main thing that's going to happen because of that is that Dynamite, Dynamo should have easily killed my other Wrecker, which would have opened that whole area up, which would have then allowed him to go and contest my flag and of course kill my stuff. Because he didn't allocate focus, now my Wrecker is alive, also because of hyper aggression, I'm now closer to him, and he did not contest my flag. So he scores on his flag, I score on mine, it's now 2-1, to one, and now I'm in a great position where I can actually, I was looking at it, I can TK and like Adrenal Flood a guy to charge over to Junior. So if I kill him, the leftmost Firefly is going to die from that, or go inert rather. I can take out Dynamo, try and tie everything up, and really he should just have a really hard time getting to my flag at that point. So that's what I'm able to do. I was also able to kill off both versions of the Lattimore. You know, I unhorsed her, then sent over another Adrenal Flood guy to take out the, the dismount version. I was able to kill off Junior. I go in there and I kill off Dynamo. I'm really surprised I didn't kill off that one Stormcaller that was by me, but just the way the dice went. Uh, again, I just can't kill any Storm Lances from the right. I just keep on whiffing on them. Uh, but yeah, I do get in there to contest. So at this point now, I'm at three points and he is at one and so really if he cannot find a way to contest my flag I just win and he's I mean again if, if my wrecker is dead and he had allocated focus this is completely the opposite he's all over me and I am not able to contest his flag. So really what it comes down to is he measures some things out and he starts working out the, the odds for things and where things ought to be placed and he realizes you know what this is really over you know if he runs things over uh, most things can't even make it and uh, you know what he was just like kind of done with the game and said all right we know I do nothing you do nothing and you win on scenario so there you go with this game here it's gonna be my second win in the tournament uh, winning this one by scenario but uh, really you know this is one that I can honestly say I should have lost you know, this is one where this Nemo 3 list with the double storm lances has just what it needs to destroy my army. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to try and deal something, uh, make something to deal with this because I'm actually starting to see a lot of Nemo 3 lists around. I believe at this tournament alone, there's three of them. So definitely something I need to plan for. This is something that is just an outright counter to my Texas list. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and plan for that. But otherwise, you know, thank you for Sean for taking the honor roll away and saying, you know what, I forgot. And, uh, otherwise, yeah, two and nothing, looking good. Uh, it is a five-game tournament, so there's still a long haul ahead of me, but hey, this is a good start. So if you have any thoughts on the game or anything like that, please post it down below. And otherwise, we'll catch you later. Bye. Hey there, if you liked watching this video, please go down and give it a like down uh, below you here. And if you have any concerns or questions or comments, please put those in the comment section as well. You know, the best way for me to give you what you want to see is if you tell me what you like seeing and what you don't like seeing. So otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.